All right, good evening. I'd like to call to order a special meeting for the Clearview Library Board of Trustees. Today is uh, September 9th, 2024. The call to order at 5.33 p.m. I'd like to invite my fellow trustees to recite our mission statement together. Cultivate curiosity, find the mind, strength in the community. All right, we'll proceed with roll call. Interim Director Gallagher. All right, we've got trustees Adams. I am here. Valderrama. Here. Brodsky. Here. Denworth. Here. Gallardi. Here. Gerstner. Here. And then we have staff members Natalie Wagner and Aaron Mitchell, as well as Interim Director Gallagher. All right. Uh, so review this evening's agenda. Um, we have two possible executive sessions on the uh, on the agenda for tonight. Um, so we did have, I'm sorry, two people just joined us online. Okay. We have a uh, Blair Pazowski and a unidentified caller. Uh, one thing we can, I just want to disclaim too, in, in regards to the, the review of the agenda is uh, the first one uh, in regards to uh, developing strategic negotiations and regarding um, the uh, improvement of the Main Street property. We have not received any further developments since we've last convened in executive session. So I don't know if there, if, if, if somebody wishes to uh, make a motion to go into executive session, by all means, that's fine. But I just wanted to make that clear that there's no, no, nothing's changed since we last met. But do we need to go to executive session to withdraw our? No, we do. We are actually to do that in a public meeting. Okay. And so, so if anything, it might behoove us to alter the, the agenda. So that we uh, address the lot holding company development um, item new business so board. Okay. So the motion is made by Trustee Adams to modify the agenda so that the uh, item of new business regarding lot holding company development of the Main Street property uh, be moved ahead of the executive sessions. Do I have a second? Second. Second made by Trustee Gershner. All in favor of adopting the modified agenda this evening, as stated, say aye. 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 All opposed. All right. Go ahead and proceed then. Uh, next item on the agenda is public input. We do not have any members of the public in the room this evening, but uh, if anyone wishes to, to speak online, I'd, I'd be happy to read the disclaimer and a lot of time for public input for anyone attending online. If you wish to speak, uh, please indicate in the chat. Is that right? Uh, just raise your hand. Or raise your hand. Okay, I will forego reading the public input disclaimers then. And we'll go ahead and proceed to the first item of new business uh, in a modified agenda, which is the lot holding company development of their Main Street property. So considering a cost sharing agreement, I'll go ahead and set the stage and then we can discuss real quick if we'd like. Uh, so we have been, as, as we uh, previously met uh, back in beginning of August, we did vote to enter into agreement um, with Lot Holding Company uh, for cost sharing. Uh, we did uh, present a contract to them, uh, at which point the response was they asked to basically defer until they received concrete numbers uh, before coming back for consideration. And so as such, uh, I, I think tonight we, we want to consider whether we want to withdraw our, our current offer on the table in favor of deferring towards later on. I would like to defer and because um, according, and, and Beth, if I misquote you, please correct me, but my understanding was he would have hard numbers for us and his bids for us at the later date. He said it was about two months out. That was about a week and a that half was a ago. A couple of weeks ago now. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're looking at six weeks to seven weeks out to get that. And I think it would behoove us to get the paperwork. Um, be able to look at the numbers, see where those came from, and have all the um, appropriate information. So as myself, I would prefer to withdraw the offer that's currently on the table. Does, do, I mean, does Mr. Hall really have any dog in this fight anyways? In what fight? Well, not that there's a fight, but this whole project. I mean, it, he's the developer. Well, I understand, but what's in it for him either way? What's in it for mean, working with us? Yes. He's a nice guy. I don't think well, there's any financial gain. Yeah, yeah there's no financial He's required to build those improvements anyway, and it's just a matter of whether he works with the town or works with us. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, with the town, there's a little bit more overhead, and I think the timetable gets altered right. a little bit, yeah. which is it. so it could delay when he gets paid if he works through the town. And we pay less if we pay just pay doesn't directly, seem like we there's any. Yeah. Just doesn't seem like there's any particular Jeremy. interest. I'm sorry. Oh, to reiterate that, yeah. So I think just to reiterate is that the advantage is, is so he and just as you, uh, you stated, Lisa, uh, that he he has to make develop these improvements anyway is the first person improving that that uh, parcel of land. But uh, so he has two options: is one is to pursue cost sharing agreements like like one with us. Um, the advantage there is that he does get paid uh, more more quickly than a, on a timetable that that's done by the town. The other option, the other piece too, is if he does go through the town, um, we we basically the town will reimburse him, and then the town would basically come to us to reimburse the town, and that also allots uh, for him for uh, additional fees for overhead. And some of those those costs. And Overhead so, and architectural. I think it was twenty engineering more. Uh, 14, the architectural more. engineering. Where's the intersection mm -hmm. with uh, a metro district? Is there a metro district that's part of this financing? Oh no. Yeah, I, I'm not privy to that information. Whether the metro district's fronting anything with the cost with that. So. Well, I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm sure there's some metro district cost, but it, 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 the. But that doesn't really affect us because either way, whether the developer does it, the mm -hmm. you know if we did it through him down the road, it would still be the Metro Tax District yep. that would be involved in that. Um, I don't know exactly how that would work, but um, and the Metro District could probably only finance his improvements, not ours, so it would still leave that on the table for him because to be paid. Because we bought uh, at the time it was purchased, it was unimproved land. Yep. Mm -hmm. So then that falls on us to improve it. So yes. Yeah, so I think uh, on the table tonight, if if uh, if anyone wishes to, um, which make is a motion another to withdraw. reason to withdraw the offer, so we have time to look at these. So you move make that a motion. Um, if you want me to, I move that we withdraw our current offer that is in front of John Hall. And his and Hall Company. A lot of holdings. A lot of holdings. And, lot of holdings and um, the wait for the hard numbers and the documentation that goes with that. Second. All right. The motion has been made by Trustee Adams to uh, withdraw the current offer on the table with Lot Holding Company uh, and in favor of, of deferring until uh, we, get, we receive hard numbers. Uh, that motion has been seconded by Trustee Dunworth. All in favor of uh, of approving the motion to withdraw our current offer with Lot Holding Company, say aye. 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 All opposed. All right, and so we will communicate that to to Mr. Hall and Lot, Lot Holding and continue negotiations. Probably to Mr. Gar Attorney Garcia. Yep. And I'll work with Attorney Garcia to, to do that. All right. Next item on on the agenda then is. Uh, and to entertain a motion to move into executive session. Uh, I'll move that we enter into exec executive session pursuant to CRS 246-4024-F for the purpose of discussing personnel relating to the director's search. All right, the motion has been made by Trustee Gershner to enter into executive session uh, for the reasons as stated by him. Is there a second? Second. Second has been made by Trustee Adams. All in favor of moving into executive session, uh, pursuant to the reasons as stated by Trustee Gershner this evening, say aye. 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 All opposed? All right. And so we will go ahead and move into executive session. At this time, we will pause the public meeting. Call back to is, order. Is Sherry waiting to get in? Is there anybody else with? Uh, let me see. Sorry. Uh, Uh, series is series in the uh, in here's in ten, and I can elevate it if you like, real quick. Now, anyone else waiting for us? No, I think we have a, we have people in the room, but okay. Okay, I would uh, I'll, I'd like to call to order Clearview Library Board of Trustees uh, back to order. It's a special meeting. 
for, for Monday, September 9th. The time is 6.43 p.m. We have uh, concluded our executive session uh, pursuant to CRS 246402-4F for the purpose of discussing personnel matters relating to the director search. Uh, in the room, roll call, we have myself, President Valderrama. Uh, Adams. A Adams, <laughs> Gerstner, Dunworth, Dunworth uh, Dunworth. alternate Gillardi. Uh, Trustee Broski is excused, and uh, please let the record reflect that for the remainder of this evening, I'm elevating uh, uh, alternate Gillardi to all voting matters. Uh, we also have uh, from our, from staff Aaron Mitchell and Natalie Wagner. Uh, I have uh, interim director uh, Gallinger has been excused. All right, next uh, next item of new business is uh, to nominate finalists for the position of library director. So I'll turn it over to our uh, our search committee to lead any discussion they wish to. All right. Uh, at this time, I will uh, move to nominate uh, Erica Rose as forward as a as a finalist for the position of library director. I'll second. All right, the motion has been made by Trustee Gershner to uh, name Erica, candidate Erica Rose as a finalist for the position of Clearview Library uh, District Director. Uh, the second is made by Trustee Adams. Is there any discussion anyone wishes to have? All right. Uh, if there's no further discussion, we'll go ahead and proceed with a vote. All in favor of naming uh, 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 Erica Rose as a finalist for the Clearview Library District uh, Director position, say aye. 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 All opposed? I would note for the record that um, Trustee Brodsky participated in the um, executive session, and had she been available, she would have likewise entered an A onto the motion. Thank you. And the vote. All right, so just to clarify, uh, Colorado law uh, re requires us to, now that we've named a finalist, we have a 14-day period uh, before we can proceed with uh, actually selecting the finalist officially and entering into a contract with her. But with that, uh, I would like to uh, ask for a motion to enable me to enter into contract negotiations with this finalist. So moved. All right, motion is made by Trustee Adams to enable uh, me as a, as a representative from Clearview Library Board of Trustees to enter into contract negotiations with finalist Eric, Eric Rose. Is there a second? Second. Second made by Trustee Dunworth. All in favor of authorizing uh, myself as the board, uh, president of the Board of Trustees to enter into, con enter into contract negotiations with finalist Erica Rose for the Clearview Library Director position, say aye. 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 <coughs> All opposed? All right, so motion carries. That concludes our item of new business. Next item of business is adjournment. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Sorry. A motion was made by Trustee Adams to adjourn our special meeting for this evening. Is there a second? Second. Second made by Trustee Gerstner. All in favor of adjourning our special meeting of the Clearview Library Board of Trustees, say aye. 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 All opposed? So we stand adjourned at 6.46 p.m. Thank you, everybody. All right. Was that fun? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Can we make all four phone calls? Uh, let me get up. No.